against this team, that would be a fine accomplishment for the crew from Colorado Springs. Points, though, do not come easy in this building. Peter Tomey picking up right where he left off last night. Back-to-back -back big saves on Troy Conzo. Position. Here is Kawaguchi, second in the nation in points. This season nearly fed Mashad on the wraparounds. Two good looks, though, for UND on this initial man advantage and still 49 seconds left. Here comes Smith charging forward, finding the back. on the tracks and he makes himself a lane. You saw it last night a couple times. Same situation right here. Look at that one. He just squeezes it through on Vernon underneath the blocker. That's one that Vernon's in position and it's just a squeaker that gets through on him. Right there, right in the, through the arm there. But Cole Smith, I mean, coming in with that much speed. Vernon sliding over and getting big on the near post. And it's all North Dakota right now. And now they lead 2-0. Colin Adams, the seeing eye shot from the blue line. This is just puck that gets up top. And again, you got Kawaguchi kind of in front. I think Berzola is actually the one who ends up getting in front of Vernon's eyes where he doesn't pick that up because his own defenseman's in front, but a good job of... Comes Blaisdell now, short-handed, the feet across, what a save by Vernon! Adams looking for his second of the night. Beaver's awfully tough to beat at home, they're right behind Minnesota State. And the WCHA oh. standings, what a play here! Jasper Weatherby! And will the puck get away from Vernon? Well, this is a play where Vernon gets caught just handling the puck. You either got to dish it off to the side or you got to sit down and cover that thing right here. Weatherby alertly wins the battle and pokes that through. Trickles right in between the legs of Vernon. But right here, your defenseman, you can see he's just unsure. Casey Stom just unsure what really Vernon was going to do. And Weatherby gets a step over. The North Dakota, they're not quitting. Loose puck in front again. Another chance for UND. Kawaguchi, mismatch! 4 0 North Dakota! They are piling it on here in the first tonight. North Dakota, look at this. It goes off of a skate right onto someone's stick. He mishandles it, sets it back, finds mismatch driving back door. Nothing Vernon can do on that. But just the way the puck was bouncing there, give credit to Kawaguchi putting the brakes on and getting. Back to retract that puck and finding mismatch. In Playing it forward. Pinso, good find. Mashad inside. Oh, he tried to do the Kawaguchi between <laughs> the legs did. that time. Get out of the cellar in the NCHC. Kawaguchi now in the back of the nets. Is Gino Binda, you'll see right here. Right here, this is this is the shot. It goes in, it beats five hole, it goes in and out so fast. Bind is behind on the play. It'll be a quick review here, but I mean, look at how is he able to create any of that separation on Stom? It's like Stom's in grade A position and Kawaguchi somehow gets around him. After the review, call Stan's goal. A big collision with him and Adams, and now CC a three on one. Copeland cross ice, Whoa. sliding save by Tommy to deny Grant Crookshank. Pesky now finding Blaisdell. The freshman off the pads of Vernon, sending the follow up, and it's 6 0 North Dakota. We talked about shooting for feet last night to create rebounds. That's exactly what happens. Pesky's just going to throw this puck over, but a good job of sticking with it. And that's just a far pad shot. As you see right here, crafty hands. Fans on the shot, and then send and drive into the net. Scoops up the free change hanging out there. Connor Mayer getting by Adams. Nice feed down low. Great stick oh, work again. Oh, oh, Pullman. 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 The captain. This is just one of those things where game's out of hand. You know what? Well, Adams coming in. First shot that Flackney faces. And it'll trickle across. Jordan Kawaguchi, perhaps the last touch. He's laughing. You can't even make this up. Feels bad for Flackney because look at this. This is the first shot he faces. Makes the good save. Rebound pops up. 
and it actually gets tipped off a mismatch, and then it's going to hit Kawaguchi right here and just go in. Unbelievable. No puck luck, Alex. No puck luck for CC this weekend. There was big news, of course, earlier this week when Air Force, who Colorado College is playing in an outdoor game earlier. Pinto, by the way. We can't even finish the story, and another goal flies in. Shane Pinto is second of the weekends. Eight to nothing, North Dakota. We just want to get out of this building and get home and get back to work. Here it's just North Dakota. Good job, puck possession. And that's just a real good play by Jer uh, J uh, Bernard Dockert. Right here, he's just going to find Pinto. Look at that. It's almost like Brett Hull there on the knee one time in that puck. Sick by Rieger. He'll play with that one. Good chance in the slot, and it finds the back of the net. Connor Mayer finally able to get one past Peter Tomey. A shutout streak of 110 minutes finally comes to an end here midway through the third. And a chance now shorthanded. Dixon Bowen! All the backhands. What a play by Cole Smith again. I think it gives good options for having it two goaltenders. It certainly does. Another chance here. Adams in front. Nice sliding save by Vernon. Vernon's been good here in this third period when he got back in. For sure. Well, watch the cheer and be happy here. You can hear the crowd get on their feet. A lot of people stuck around to watch this thing finish out, and it was over quite a while ago. But what a difference Friday night into Saturday night. Lots of goals and bunches here tonight, and Brad Berry is a happy camper.